got something healthy to eat? Stay tuned. Welcome back to Harbor Palace's Seafood Restaurant Cooking Series. I'm your host, Karima. And I'm your host, Eric Lum. And this is our chef, Panda Chow. Hello. And today he's going to show us how to slice and dice our way to a healthy meal. We will be making beef broccoli today. And today's cooking supplies a pan, two pots, a strainer basket, a strainer, a large bowl, a plate, a measuring spoon, a large spoon, and two knives, one for meat and then one for vegetables to avoid cross-contamination. Two cutting boards, and don't forget your peeler. So it's a long list of ingredients, so grab your pen and papers. Today we are going to use beef, broccoli, carrots, green onions, mushrooms, and ginger. And for the seasoning, it includes MSG, chicken powder, soy sauce, oyster sauce, dark soy sauce, cooking wine, sesame oil, pepper, cornstarch, egg, meat tenderizer, oil, and water. A lot of these items can be purchased at your local food market or Asian food market. So Henda, what should we do first? Well, we'll cut the beef into slices and we're going to marinate it. So Henda, I know it's called beef and broccoli, but can we use like different kind of meats? Yes, we could use chicken, shrimp, or pork. It's the same process. So they're very thinly sliced. Yes. And for a healthier, leaner meat, you can use white chicken breast. We can marinate the beef. So add a little MSG. And a little chicken powder. How much is that? Uh, about a quarter teaspoon. And for those of you healthy, uh, healthier people, if you don't want to use MSG, just add a little bit more of the chicken powder. Then we use a little soy sauce. Is that a half teaspoon? Yeah. And we add a little water in it. You have a tent of salt, a lot of water, and let it soak it for five to ten minutes. Now it's about five, ten minutes already on the beef. So we're gonna put some egg and cornstarch on it. We use about one third of the egg is enough. About one spoon of the uh, cornstarch mixed together the beef. So Henda, why do we add cornstarch? Uh, because cornstarch and egg it protect the beef. So we get it all the juice and all the tannins kicking in when we go through the oil. Oh, okay. Well, 
When the water is boiled, we can put the broccoli in. Now we cut the carrot. That's how we cut it. First of all, we peel up all the skin. Carrots are also rich in vitamin C. That's how you you want to make a little uh, decoration. So you the broccoli look nicer. You can make a little flower. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> Is there like a special cutting technique so you don't hurt yourself as you're cutting? Since you have to cut everything so thin. Yeah, you always use your hand against the knife. And the knife is cold outside, so you won't cut your hand. Okay, you peel up all the skin of the ginger. Oh, that's some pro cutting right there. Uh, the broccoli after we cut, we wash them, and then the water is boiled, we just put the broccoli in. Boil the broccoli. After a couple minutes, the broccoli is still tender. Oh, the broccoli looks so good. Now, we try to boil the carrot and the mushrooms. Put the boil water for a couple of minutes. Okay, so you put it in the bowl. We make sure the pan is hot so the beef don't stick into the pan. Now I put some oil in it. When the beef turn brown, turn up the fire and drain all the oil. Okay, you cook the beef, don't cook for too long. So when you get it brown, this is well done, it's ready. Not too much, about half a spoon. and we saute the broccoli. Add a little water to the broccoli. And we add some MSG if you want to. And a little chicken powder so the broccoli a taste. Add a little water into the cornstarch. We add a little cornstarch on it. So the cornstarch will make the water dry and the broccoli, if you look at the broccoli, it's like a graze on top of the broccoli and it's shiny too. The broccoli is good too. We're going to pour the broccoli into the plate. We put a little oil on a pan. I guess we're going to add a little ginger to give it a little extra flavor to the meat. This is uh, garlic. Oh, garlic, And put the ginger and onion in. 
It's more tasty and more colorful. Cooking wine. Put the water in it. I'm gonna put a little MSG, a little chicken powder. A little soy sauce. And about a little more on the oyster sauce. And a little dark soy sauce make it a little darker color. And we're gonna add a little seasoning oil and pepper. Stir them up together so it's a little more colorful. There's not much gravy in this one. Yeah, we serve a little uh, dry without a lot of gravy, but you want more gravy, you can add more water in it. So add a little water and the cornstarch. Yeah, to make the sauce thicker, so. Now it's ready to serve. Uh, try it and see how it tastes. Whew, don't mind if I do. I'll need it all now. Oh. <laughs> Broccoli is still very tender. Mm. Broccoli is crispy. It's flame flame. Mm. It tastes super good. It's more of that. Woo! I'd eat three plates of this if I wanted to. We try to cook, uh, try not to put too much oil, that's why I don't see a lot of grease on a plate. So that was the conclusion that uh, shows you the authentic recipe of how to make some tasty beef and broccoli. So what did you think? Oh, um, like I said, flame flame with some quality beef and broccoli right there. Yum. Yeah. Now you can go home and show off to your friends and family. Hope you enjoyed learning with us today. Join us next time as we noodle around the kitchen with chicken chow mein. Slices and marinate it. So start cutting. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>